for joining us today on Playing the Field Local Edition. I'm Maria Soreo. We are here today at Peninsula High School where you will meet the girls' varsity softball team. But first, let's catch up with their coach, Tim Hall. Well, just give me an overview on the team this year. So um, the team this year is great. I mean, it's a great bunch of girls. They are first and foremost really supportive of each other, um, very positive. They... Um, and, and my, my favorite thing, I think, is that they, they just, they, they see the best in each other. And so it's a really strong group. They have a good time. And, um, and it's really coming together. They're working hard, and, and we're seeing progress over the course of the season. They really do a good job of that, picking each other up and, and knowing that, that if, if, if a mistake is made, that the girl who made the mistake is harder on herself than any of us could possibly be. And she doesn't need to be brought down more. She needs to be lifted up. A lot of these girls have been playing since they were like, you know, six years old. They've been playing their whole life. When when you're that young, how is it, do you make the active decision to say, I just love this game. I want to keep playing it. I mean, some kids have played other sports, but it just seems like from day one for so many of these girls, it just clicked in. Yeah, and I don't, and I don't know that it's an active decision, really. What I think happens, I think, is that um, they get out there and they have a really positive experience. Um, what's great is that some of these girls, um, they, they coach, they help coach the, the local teams. And the, sometimes I'll get girls who remember the high school girls who coach them. And, and so sometimes it's that, like that's where the positivity came from. And, they, and so it's not necessarily even softball is my sport at first. It's just, I sort of love being out here. And so I'm going to come back. And then you do that two, three, four times. And all of a sudden you're, you get kind of good at it and you think, well, this is sort of my thing. How do you sort of know what positions they're going to play? Yeah, this is an interesting uh, year to ask that question because we've had people play all over the place. So um, when, once you get to high school, a big part of that is um, what positions do we need? Um, we have one girl... Uh, Kelly Beaupre, who already this year, oh, and by the way, she's a senior, a captain, and a four-year varsity player, and she's already played shortstop, center field, left field, and first base. So she's played in nine games. She's already played four different positions, and her best position might even be third base, um, but it's just a matter of you know what what I mean we only had 13 girls on the team one of them was hurting out for the year so we're down to 12 so you know it's it's got to be a, a a matter of where do we need you and they do a really good job saying um all right let's try here um Jeannie, who was a um, our primary pitcher last year um has uh, has learned to play some first base this year because we got another pitcher who came in and so now we sort of have both pitchers going and we needed somebody to play uh, first base when, when the other pitcher was pitching. And so she said, okay, I'll learn how to play first base. And they just do. What's your feeling when some of the girls have played other sports or do play other sports? I love it. I love it. I wish, they, I wish it happened more that they would play multiple sports. And you're hearing now a lot of research that supports that, that there are fewer injuries, that there's less burnout, that... Um, if you can play multiple sports and do that cross training, and there's not wear and tear on those softball specific or whatever sports specific uh, motions and muscles. So, um, so I love it when they do. In fact, Kelly, the girl I was telling you about that has already played four positions, um, played on the soccer team um, before she came out here. And it doesn't happen very often anymore. We have another girl, Addie, another senior who's on the cross country team, um, but it, but it doesn't it doesn't happen very often anymore. And I think it's it that's a product even before they get to high school because there's so much specialization and there's a lot of pressure to join a club team and be specific to one sport. But, um, but, I, but I love it when they play multiple sports. Do you, can you see from season to season um, what they've worked on to get a little bit better? Often, and it's, and it's one of my favorite parts about the fall uh, is seeing uh, the, the changes that they've made based on the work that they've done. And, and it happens to varying degrees. Some people come back and say, yeah, I haven't touched a ball since um, our, the last out of our last game. And some of them come back and say, I've really worked hard on this and this and this. And, uh, and it's really fun for me to see. In fact, when, when, I, when I talk to them at the end of the year, I always have exit interviews at the end of the year. And we sort of uh, take time to forecast maybe what we think things might look like in the future. And, and we, but we acknowledge that, hey, things can change based on not just what you do, but what other people do as well. So it gives them, it gives them a, a, a goal, something to set their sights on, and something to work towards if, if that's something they want to do. Tell us how long you've been playing softball and why you chose it for your sport. 
Um, I've been playing softball since I was five years old. My family's always been a baseball family, and I guess when I was going into elementary school, my parents wanted me to try the sport, and my mom also played when she was uh, my age, and so I guess she wanted that for me too. What kind of advice did your mom give you about the game itself? Um, well, I remember that she told me not to be afraid to get dirty and to hurt yourself because that's what being an athlete's all about. Right. Yeah, and to always work your hardest and to, you know, f uh, find something that you like and always go for it. Did you ever try any other sports or just this one? I started with soccer, but then when I started softball, I kind of realized that this was something I wanted to do more okay. and spend more time with. Yeah. Because you've been playing such a long time, what do you sort of work on from season to season to get a little better in your own game? Um, I would say the basics, the fundamentals, because, you know, you can never go wrong with working on the things you start to learn from the beginning, just to improve those little techniques and stuff like that. What position do you play? I'm a second baseman. Okay. And so what is the biggest challenge playing second? Being able to both, like if there's a runner on first, being able to both watch the runner if she's stealing and making sure you're there for a, a double play, a force at second, and also watching for the bunt as well because I would also have to cover first on a bunt. So it's really a lot going on if they're, if they're during certain situations, so yeah. Okay, and then what's the messages that the coaches try to get you guys to remember? Go to bed being proud of yourself. Make sure from the second your head hits the pillow, your like whatever errors or whatever you did on the field that you weren't happy with, you forgive yourself and improve. I've been playing since I was nine, so math, nine years. <laughs> and I chose it while well, my mom wanted me to play, so I just tried it out for her and I really enjoyed it. So. Did you try any other sports or just this one? Yeah, I tried soccer a little bit before, but I only did it for a couple of weeks, so. <laughs> what, what was it about soccer versus softball that you liked better here? Um, I just wasn't in the right program, I think, because I think it wasn't really set up for me to succeed in it, so I just did not get the kind of experience that I should have for it, so. What you work on from season to season get a little better? Um, yeah, it's a lot about mental focus for me. It's just like I have a lot of nerves when I go off, so I try to like every season just focus on like obviously work on my reps and everything so I'm more comfortable with it, but that helps with my mental game because I feel more comfortable. I'm not as stressed about it, so yeah. What, do you, what position do you play? I'm catcher. Okay, and so the catcher, you have so much going on all at one time. You really are kind of the, the captain on the team. Uh, what do you, like how much studying do you do on the other team before game? Um, we really don't study them much, but since we play the same teams for the most part, we kind of recognize like their strengths and weaknesses. So, and when you talk about the mental game, what do you sort of do to prepare yourself for a game? Like, do you listen to music before the game, or what do you do? Um, well, we have like like a speaker that plays music before a game, so that kind of hypes people up. I don't know. For me, it's just like I have to like when I'm warming up, I don't really talk much. I just try to stay focused and like just focus on my reps and everything. So I just try to like keep quiet and focused on the game. I know that this is a very close-knit group here. Tell us about what you guys do away from the softball field. Well, we haven't done much yet, but we're like planning to do like team bonding. So like we want to do um, like a game night at someone's house so we could get to know each other and like make fun of each other. <laughs> and, like, That's and then we wanted to do like karaoke we've done in the past, so that always works well. And I think we might go to like the UCLA softball game because that's something we all have in common and I think that would be fun. I've been playing softball since I was six years old. Um, I think I first started playing because my dad wanted me to play, but like I really enjoyed playing so I just kept doing it all these years. Now, when you were six years old, what positions did you play then and which ones have you played over time and wh which ones are you playing now? Um, when you're six, you play all of the positions. You try everything. As I got a little older, I played a lot of um, pitcher and like outfield and stuff. And now I'm pretty much just outfield. But like, yeah. It, it, do you sort of settle in where you're best? Is that sort of how it works? Or yeah, it's just like whatever you enjoy the most, whatever position you're best at, that's where you end up.
Because you've been playing for so long, what do you work on from season to season to get a little bit better? Um, you just kind of keep practicing and like you notice when you're not as good as at something and you just like keep like practicing to try to make it better. I remember last year, this group was such a close-knit group. You did a lot of team bonding, and Coach said that this, it's very similar to this year. Just tell me about the kind of things you do as a group together. Um, I don't know. Like, we were just singing together during warm-ups. But um, I think we have team bonding this Saturday. I think we're going to have a game night, so that should be fun. We've done, like, karaoke in past years. I don't know. It's really – it's always a fun time. That sounds really fun, too. Because you're a senior, um, is it difficult to sort of balance the sports time with the school time, or do you have it down now? Um, it's still kind of hard to balance. It's a lot, but, like, I still manage to get everything done. But, yeah, there's some late nights. <laughs> I've been playing since I was about 9 or 10, and I really loved my friends on the team, and I just loved, the, like, the whole team as itself. Yeah. Did you ever try any other sports? I did. I've gone through a lot of sports. I've played soccer. I've tried gymnastics. Yeah. What do you think that you learned maybe from those other sports that actually helps you with this one? I'm not sure. Probably, like, I definitely, from soccer, I've, like, l learned about, like, team and stuff and, like, team bonding and working with the team and working together. Interesting. I know last year this was a very tight-knit group, and Coach said the same thing this year, that you guys are a very tight-knit group, and you start the team bonding experience. I know you're ha ha doing something this Saturday. Just talk a little bit about that, that and why it's so important. It's really important to um, for team bonding, so then you can kind of get to know each other as a group better and work together as a team as one instead of a bunch of individuals. Okay. And um, what position do you play? I play center and left field. What do you think is, when you're playing in the outfield, what is the biggest challenge when you're out there? Definitely bad hops in the grass. Sometimes the ball will just get by you, and then you have to turn around and get it as fast as you can. Is there one thing that you tend to work on to get a little better at? Um, running back on the ball, for sure. Yeah. And is there a message that the coach always wants you guys to remember? Um, always give our best effort. I've been playing since kindergarten, and I chose it because... I think my parents just saw it in like the flyer and was like, hey, you want to try softball? And I think I said, yeah, sure, and I've just stuck with it ever since. Did you try it, ever try any other sports? I tried soccer for one year, and I did not like it at all. What was it about soccer that you didn't like and softball that you really knew you liked? Um, I really liked softball because everyone had like their own set position, and I guess soccer was really chaotic for me. What position are you playing? Uh, catcher. Okay, catcher. You, you know, you're you're sort of the captain. You've got so much going on all the time. What's your biggest challenge? Um, mostly the mental part of it, keeping track of everything at once. But you probably like that, right? Yeah. <laughs> it seems like whoever plays catcher and pitcher, it's very. You have to have sort of a, a certain personality and a certain mindset to do that. Yeah, it's definitely takes a lot of practice trying to keep track of everything that's going on at one time. Because you've been playing a long time, what do you sort of work out from season to season to get a little bit better? Um, just like practice and reps, and I work on things that I might not be strong in. Okay. Um, the school time and the, the sports time, is it difficult to balance or do you kind of have it down? Um, I kind of have it down. I set a routine for myself every day. Like I get home, I eat, and then take a shower, and then do my homework. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, is there a message that the coach always wants you guys to remember? Um, well, he calls us the smart team. Um, just that we work hard. Okay. I've been playing softball for about, I want to say, nine or ten years. Um, and I chose it um, because my family has always been into, like, baseball and softball. And I kind of just wanted to try it out just to see what it was like, and I fell in love with it back then. Did you ever try any other sports? Or? Uh, yeah, I also played soccer up until this year. Wow. What do you think you learned playing soccer that actually helps you with this sport? Um, I think for me it was just, like, learning how to, like, be able to, like, control, like, what I'm doing, like, mentally. But with balancing two sports, it was difficult to, like, try and separate each one and then also keep up schoolwork. 
Um, so I think that helps me in the game when there's a lot going on with like different runners and different situations. It kind of helps me to like lower the stress. Yeah, you know, you kind of just answered another question I was going to ask you, but as a pitcher, um, how do you sort of how do you sort of tune everything else out? Um, I think it's just you get used to it over the years. You can't ever, well, at least for me, I can't ever completely tune it out. But it's like over the years I've gotten like used to it, so it affects me less, and it's kind of just like, okay, that's happening. Did you always pitch or did you try other positions? Um, I started pitching when I was about eight, um, and I also played first and third. Okay. All right, and then – you were talking about balancing time. I mean, school time, sports time. How did you sort of figure that out? Um, I don't think I have completely okay. figured that out yet. Um, but it's kind of like with um, everything else, there's time in the car. to like from driving to practice and driving home. It's kind of just like trying to get everything done when I have the time to. Um, so, like, I don't get to go out with friends as much as the rest of them, but... I mean, I have a lot of friends here, and they're basically just like my family. We talked about a little bit about team bonding as well. I know that you guys get together and do things together. Tell me about that. Um, all, for all of us, this is just like a community. Like, all of us get along really well, and it's kind of just like we've all come together, and it's not just because this is a class. Like, we all have to get along. We all, like, enjoy having each other around us, and it's kind of just like we all enjoy each other's company, and... It's just really fun. I've been playing softball since I was six years old, and I chose it because my dad was a baseball player. Wow. And it, it, how much advice did your dad sort of give you over the years? Um, he gave me a lot of advice, just like on the very like basics, and then also just my attitude and how to like keep, keep my composure when I play. Over the years, because you've been playing for so long, what do you work on to get a little better in your own game? Um, just the small details a lot and the mindset and trying new things position are you playing? I play outfield and middle infield. Okay. So you're playing in and out. What is the biggest challenge? You've got to know lots of different area space. Um, there's a lot of different like footwork, but I'm able to apply different skills from outfield to infield and vice versa. When you're, when you think back to starting at such a young age, did you move around a lot and like kind of figure out where you'd be good or how does that work? Um, I definitely tried a bunch of different positions, and I just found what I enjoyed the most. And then what's a message that Coach Hall wants you guys to always remember? Um, he always wants us to remember just to keep each other going and have each other's backs. Okay. And then I know that we talked about group bonding and team bonding. Um, how important is that that you guys all come together? Um, it's just important because when we all know how to like, communicate and work together, it really shows on the field. And balancing the school time with the sports time, how hard or, or do you have that down now? Um, it's still pretty difficult, but I just always get in as much work as I can whenever I have the time. I think it's been eight or nine years now, and it's kind of sort of my parents' idea. They wanted me to make more friends and sort of reach out. Did you ever try any other sports? or? I played soccer briefly, but that was not, that didn't last very long. <laughs> did you just prefer playing softball over soccer, or why did you choose that one? Um, yeah, I just loved the environment. The girls were really nice, and it's just, I don't know, I just liked it way better. You seem like a really tight-knit group. Tell me a little bit about that and the kind of bonding, that, team bonding you guys do. Um, well, some of these girls I've known since I was like eight or nine, so we've obviously had that like strong friendship throughout the years, and that's really helped. And the upperclassmen are so supportive. They've always been supportive since I was a freshman um, in the program. And I just think that like our kindness to each other on and off the field just really helps us. Makes a difference. Yeah. Um, what are the messages that the coaches always want you to remember? Um, they always want us to, you know, play our best and really give everything we have on the field. You know, sometimes we make errors that, you know, they can they can be helped and sometimes they're focus related and we have to, you know, make sure to eliminate those. And just we always have to, you know, perform our best, yeah. Before a game, do you have sort of a pregame ritual or what do you sort of do to psych yourself up? Um, well, for home games we usually play music. Um our third baseman brings a speaker, and I provide the playlist. And then, you know, the players get to choose what songs they want in it. So then that helps us get ready and motivated. Cool. Yeah. And do you have any um, upcoming team bonding dinners or what have you get the, you're getting ready for? Um, this Saturday, we're planning a team bonding get-together. We don't actually know what we're doing yet, but 
Okay. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah. Very nice. Um, and then the schoolwork with the sports time, are you got that down or how do you sort of balance it? Um, I try to get as much done as I can on game days at school. So when I get home at like six or seven, then I like I'm not as crammed and like as stressed out for how much work I have. Uh, this is my seventh year playing softball. Um, I love playing this sport. It's a lot of fun. There's action and uh, oh, cheering, of course. <laughs> What position do you play? I play a catcher and shortstop. Oh, wow. All right. Those are two very different positions, but very challenging. Um, you've been playing for a long time. How did you sort of settle into those positions? So for catching, I love to get dirty. <laughs> so obviously that helped. Um, I learned to block over the years, but it was a lot of fun catching. And shortstop, I realized I have to be quick on my feet in both, actually. Okay. Did you ever try any other sports or just this one? Um, I used to do competitive dance, actually, yeah, and in sixth grade I did lacrosse, and when I was younger I played tennis. Wow, but, you're just a full-on athlete. <laughs> what do you think you learned maybe from those other sports that help you with this one? Um, all of them you have to be aggressive, but all of them you have to enjoy the, the sport, and that's what keeps me going through it, yeah. Um, are there any messages that the coaches want you to remember? Um, they always tell us don't fear anything right when you have fear may not go your way always have a positive attitude okay. and I know that this is a tight-knit group um, you're getting ready to even do some team bonding how important is that as a group it's really important in softball um, as a freshman I just came in but all the girls have been super welcoming yeah and then I'm um, how do you sort of balance the school time with the sports time so I do sports and other things, uh, including school. And so it's hard to juggle, but you have to be efficient with your time. And yeah. <laughs> I've been playing softball for about 11 years and I chose it. The story goes, um, my mom said that I looked at a banner that said hitters and mitters. And I, was, I asked my mom, what do the hitters and mitters do? Um, and from that, I've been playing softball ever since. I got started as a pitcher in um, first grade and that kind of cemented my role, um, kind of where I knew where I was on the team. Um, and from that, I kind of gained this role of peace because when you're on the mound, uh, you have to be able to collect yourself pretty quickly. And that helped me kind of center uh, my thoughts. And I really liked that feeling. When you do that from a really young age pitching, does it, does it sort of like cement you into the sport? Because sometimes I talk to kids that are really young when they first start out and the pitchers just seem to be in a groove. I don't know. Is that how you felt or... Honestly, yeah, um, because when you're playing some of the other infield or outfield positions, um, it's kind of easy to go from one to the other. Obviously, there are each like tactics for each position. But with pitching, it's pretty unique. Um, with pitching and catching, you need training for each one of them. And so when you put in all those hours to really learn how to do each spin and get the speed up, um, you're kind of cemented in there, and it's something you grow to love. Did you, were you ever afraid of getting hit? Did you get hit? Um, I have gotten hit before. Um, it's always the issue of do you wear a face mask or not. Um, I personally don't wear a face mask right now because I think um, I like my fluidity without it. Um, but it's always um, a possibility, but you just need quick reflexes with your glove. <laughs> quick, okay. And then I know this is a very tight-knit group. It always has been. Um, just talk about team bonding and why that's so important. Um, we've definitely faced teams where their team wasn't cohesive, um, and as soon as they make a mistake, uh, they start yelling at each other, tearing each other apart, and we want to be able to create a culture that when someone makes a mistake, we pick each other up, and that honestly is one of the most important things in the field. Obviously, you have talent, <laughs> but when you're all focused in and you're all working hard, one good play turns into two, um, and it's a really good ricochet effect where if someone dives for a, vol a ball, lays out, um, the whole team just feels more engaged. What do you think you've learned the most from Coach Hall? Oh, wow. Um, that man is amazing. <laughs> um, I think he really teaches us um, about the passion of the sport and um, how you can have as much talent as the professional softball players. And if you don't have the passion and you don't have the drive, the focus, um, you're not going to be able to play well. So it's really about um, every little detail really comes into play. And he helps us see the bigger picture as well as the small details. I've been playing softball since I was like, probably like I started when I was three. Yeah, because I have two older sisters. And then I think I just, I chose it for um, for high school because it's just like 
that's like my number one sport. It's just like that's that's the only thing I've ever played. It's like, what do you think you learn the most from your sisters? Um, I feel like I learn from their mistakes. Um, that's good. Yeah, so I feel like. If they make mistakes, like it's something that I won't do, cause like I just I've seen them do it, so I think that's the one. Okay, and what position do you play? I play third base. Okay, so did you always play third base, or have you tried basically every position? I've tr okay, so I was a pitcher, okay. and that didn't work out. Okay, <laughs> so I went to catching and second base. Those were my two number um, my two positions I played. Um, but then I got a shoulder injury, so I stopped both of those, and now I'm just a third baseman. Okay. What do you think is the biggest challenge at third? Because a lot goes on there. Yeah, it's like it's the hot corner, so like you just really have to fa have fast reflexes, and I think I'm still working. Yeah. <laughs> but like, um, yeah, it could be it could be scary sometimes, but I feel like I just feel like I have a lot more I have a lot of control being one of the corners. Okay. So it's like it's fun. Okay. Um. Over the years, because you've been playing for so long, what do you sort of work on from season to season to get a little better? Um, well, it just kind of depends from my, um, like my season, like how it started. So I just feel like my number one focus, like no matter what season, is my hitting, because okay. I feel like that's um, my like strong place right there. Okay. So I, I feel like I work on that one the most. Do you go to batting cages and things like that? Or? Yeah, my dad, he was my coach for like my whole life. So he still coaches me. Um, and so like, yeah, he, he works on me. He works with me. What's the message that the coach wants you to remember? Um, I feel like, of course, like work hard and give our 100%. But one thing that we all that he um, our coaches always say is like pick each other up if like we if each other need that like and I feel like that's our our strong suit. You guys seem to be um, a very tight knit group. You told me you lost a lot of seniors last year, but still you can feel this connection when I talk to you guys. Yeah, I, we're really close. I um, like I said, like there was a lot of younger girls this year, and I feel like that kind of gives us a better connection because we like. Some of us have the same classes, and it's just like, it's easy to talk to these girls and just be um, be on a team with them. And of course, I had to ask the girls and the coach, is it Dodgers, Angels, or somebody else? All right, last question, um, Angels, Dodgers, or somebody else, who's your team? Dodgers. Angels, Dodgers, or somebody else, who's your team? Um, uh, I'd say Yankees solely because my mom likes them. <laughs> Angels or Dodgers, who's your team? Dodgers. Dodgers, for sure. <laughs> Dodgers? Yeah. Okay, you come from a baseball family. Is it Dodgers, Angels, or somebody else? Dodgers. I watch college softball. I just, like, love watching the game. I'm not really a Dodgers fan, so I have to go with the Angels on that one. <laughs> I'm a Giants fan. Angels. Ooh. Although I'm more of a hockey family. That's my family, yeah. yeah. Like Kings, but we're also Canadian, so Ooh. my dad likes Montreal. <laughs> Definitely been to quite a number of Dodger games in my life, and go Dodgers. I've always be a Dodger fan. Not as much anymore because they got rid of my favorite player. Who was your favorite player? Was it Yasiel Puig or Matt Kemp? Matt Kemp. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I will say um, Angels. I'm really excited about the Angels. Um, I grew up a Dodger fan, uh, but also an Angel fan. But the Angels recently have sort of made a push um, in my rooting interest. And um, I love what they've done. My fingers are crossed um, about their pitching. Um, but uh, I'm excited to see especially the top of that lineup. And that will do it for today's show. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Maria Sorreo, and we'll see you next time.